Hi model fans, I'm Jared and you're tuned to Bone Fragments, the channel for all things B1 Lancer and aviation scale modeling. In this video, we're gonna unbox the new upgrade for my Anycubic Photon 3D resin printer. And as a bonus, if you watch to the end of the video, you'll see some previews of a couple of new products coming down the track. Here we have the Anycubic Photon. And let's open her up and show you what we're talking about inside here. So the way a 3D resin printer works is we have a vat of resin which sits down here. And then we've got the build plate which moves up and down on this screw here. On This is called the Z-rail, the Z-axis. This part moves up and down into the vat. And then as it's building, it comes up slowly like that. And the actual resin part is built underneath here. So, with the Anycubic Photon, we have a couple of things. The build plate has a gimbal in the center here that is held in place by a single Allen screw here. And the flatness or the leveling of this build plate to the actual build surface is has to be exactly square parallel. If there's any slight like tilt or unsquareness or unlevelness to it, your print will not work. It has to be, because we're talking tolerances of one to two microns here. So that's the build plate and leveling of that. Next is the Z rail. So as this build plate moves up and down this rail here, the Z rail, so this is a single rail, meaning that there's just one rail there with one part in the middle here that moves up and down. So the stepper motor in here drives this screw and that then drives this up and down. Now the problem is that as that moves up further and further up, or there's any Z, Z wobble, so the slightest movement backwards and forwards this way in the Y axis like this as it's moving up the Z axis will mean that your prints don't line up. So the layer below will be slightly shifted to the layer uh, above it and it can actually get worse as it moves up. So to solve these problems, there's a number of products in the marketplace, but what we've actually got this morning is what we've received from Jackson Products in the UK, pull this up a bit, and it is a couple of things. So let's open her up. So this part here is the build plate leveler. So this is a new part that goes between the build plate and its uh, mount. So that actually replaces this section in here. It's a lot firmer, so it's basically this extruded um, set here that just goes on like this. And it just makes it a lot easier to level it. And once it is leveled, it stays level. Now the next part is the actual Z rail, twin rail upgrade. Screw it out of there so I don't lose it. Uh, the instructions for this actually give us a YouTube link. Let me put that in, and we have got that up there, which is a great video to show you exactly how to do it. Hello, my name's Simon Jackson. Thank you for watching this uh, video show. So Simon goes through how to do it. Now what this actually is, we've got a new splash plate. So this actually part goes on the, uh, on the rail itself, or on the screw, so that it actually pushes this back up. So that way the gravity, because obviously gravity would let that fall down on its own, and we don't want that. So that actually keeps it in position. So as you can see here, this is the part. Beautifully made. 
and dead easy to install. There are some other Z-Rail upgrades, twin Z-Rail upgrades on the marketplace, but they actually have you take the existing one and tap and screw into the side of it and put uh, these, basically these type of parts on yourself. Whereas this is a single drop in place. Absolutely dead smooth there. So that should enable us as this moves up and down to be perfect. And I've also included some grease for greasing it. So looking forward to getting that installed and hopefully that takes the prints to the next level. Thanks. So let's have a quick look at what we've done. So this is the vat. That's called the FEP. So that's what you fill with resin. Goes in there. Screw it down and screws there. Now by this stage you would have put resin into the vat. Let's go with the home position. It's got two rails, so smooth, much better than before. And that's the mounting bracket, solid as a rock. That's called the home position where it beeps. So it's now ready to print. If I had something in the USB, I could just come back to the home position and say print, choose the file and hit play, print, and away it would go. And it would slowly start coming up and down, up and down, and until it's, or however the height of the print is, up to here somewhere. That's the end of the project. Okay, here we have the AnyCubic Photon in operation. It's the UV cover. So it's going down and then exposing, that's the layer it's exposing. So you can see this is layer 1061 out of 1333, five hours print. And so it's just pulling it up a few mil each time. That's the rail we've installed. That's the, the resin vat. I just heard that crunch sound as it pulls off the resin free of the FEP effect. I'll listen a second here. And that's it. And here we have the finished article. See it prints upside down from the bottom layer. Right so that has to be now post process, which means basically washing all the excess resin off in uh, isopropyl alcohol and then using UV light to cure it. Well, I hope you enjoyed that look at 3D printing and the new upgrade for this AnyCubic Photon. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more videos if you haven't already. Help me grow the channel. Leave me a comment if you have any questions or suggestions for new videos. Thanks guys, keep on boning.